Hi guys, today I have my finale for Project Tin Pan. So I believe this is my third round of Project Tin Pan in this year. And every time I always pick tin products and they're always makeup products and I always just try to finish everything in two months. I think this time around I didn't do too good, at least compared to the previous two Project Tin Pans. I had 10 products to start with and Right now, I still have four that I haven't finished. So let me show you those four products. So the first product is from Jordana. This is Jordana Easy Liner for Eyes in the color black. So when I started this project, this pencil was new. So that's where I started. And first, second, and third update, this is where I am now at the finale. So I still have a little snub left. So you can see it right there. That's how much I have left right now. I believe this will last me another two weeks just because I am able to use that much each two weeks. So I'm not too upset about it and I do like this liner so hopefully it will be out of my way pretty soon. Then I have a face powder. This is from Revlon. It's nearly naked. I believe this line has been discontinued already. I have it in the color 020 light. And last time, if you remember, I already had very big size pan, so I decided I needed to repress it. And I thought after repressing, I would be using this guy super quickly and I would be finished with it for sure this time. But it actually surprised me. I still have quite a bit left, as you can see. And that little chunk in the middle just fell out. I guess I didn't do too good of a job repressing it. Um, it came a little loose and it just cracked off. So I didn't bother to pick up that little chunk and repress it back in. But I still have quite a bit to go, which, yeah, it's a big surprise to me. So I think this powder would still last me about two to three weeks, which I am kind of okay with. Really, it doesn't have too much left and as long as I can still finish it in the near future, I'm happy with it. Then I have two lip products I wasn't able to finish. The first one is from Revlon, it's their lip butter in the color Sorbet. And this one is kind of a hot pink color. Let me give you a swatch. This color is quite intense. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't wear it a whole lot, but I try. <laughs> I do try to wear it here and there, but I do have to mentally prepare myself every time I do that. So for that reason, I think I'm just wearing it really slowly. And those are my progress lines. I just line it up with the bottom. As you can see, there's a little plastic piece. So I line it up that way. That's where I am now. I think this is definitely a harder color for me. So I am really happy I was able to use like almost an inch of that product. Uh, the rest of it, I do want to finish it this year. So I probably would just keep it around during the summer and try to finish it off that way. The last product I didn't get to finish is actually a little bit disappointing. This is my MAC Pro Longwear Lip Gloss in the color Infinitely Likeable. So it's not a whole lot of product, but when I started it was a new uh, lip gloss though. So I didn't expect myself to completely finish it, but each update I was able to use it quite a bit except for this very last update. Uh, let me show you my progress. So those are my progress lines. So as you can see, I was using it very slowly at the beginning, but I made pretty good progress uh, in the past two updates. But right now I am still exactly there because I just didn't get around to use it at all during this update. Um, except for today, I do have it on my list today, but um, it didn't move the product down by any means. And I think it's okay. I do like the color. I think uh, in the summer it does look nice, but it's just so sticky. I'm kind of not a fan of the formula. So I don't think I will be buying any Pro Longwear lip glosses anymore. I have only finished one product since last update. This is my Rainbow Match Perfection Foundation in the color 330 Sand. So this one was pretty dark for me, even though with the little tan that I have right now, it's still too dark. So I had to mix it with other foundations. For that reason, I used it quite slowly. And those are my progress lines. So that was the beginning, first, second, and third update. So as you can see, I really didn't have much left uh, after the last update and I was able to use this up pretty quickly. So now let me just run you through the five products I have finished before. I have a perfume from Gucci, this is Gucci 2, and when I started I don't have much left, so that's where I started. 
and I was able to use it up, um, I think, before last update. Even though I still have a little bit left, but really I couldn't get it sprayed out anymore. And this one is pretty old and I think I'm okay just calling it quits. I did finish one lip product. This is from Tarte Lip Surgeons. I have it in the color Sweet. The first line is actually where I started at the beginning of the year because this is one of the products I want to finish in 2016, so I marked it. But by the time I started this project, I actually started right there with the error next to it. And then it only took me two updates to finish it completely. So I'm pretty happy about that. This color is kind of a nudie pink color. Um, I can still barely give you a swatch, but it has a lot of golden shimmer in it. So I'm not a big fan of the formula. I'm glad that one is just gone. Lastly, I have finished three depotted eyeshadows. So the first one is kind of big, but when I started, I only had maybe like a third of the pan. Uh, full of eyeshadows. So this one is from Revlon. It's in the color Peach Sorbate and it's a matte formula. It was a single eyeshadow. Then I have two little ones. One is from Lancome, one is from Estee Lauder. They are both gift with purchase palettes, so I don't know the name of them. When I started the project, they both already had pain in them, so it didn't take me long to finish them at all. So that's my Project Tin Pan finale. I actually thought about extending it for another two weeks because I feel at least I will be able to finish my Jordani Easy Liner eyeliner, and probably I would be able to finish my um, Revlon Nearly Naked face powder as well. But the sad news is that I am past my due date for three days already. So really like my baby could come any day and I am already scheduled for an induction next week. So I'm not too sure if I am going to be able to do one additional update, which will be another two weeks. Uh, I just think my life might be hectic by then. So, you know, it's kind of sad. I still have four products I didn't get to finish, but... I'm kind of okay with it and overall I would still think this is a successful project pan and at least I finished six products. If you're doing any sort of panning projects, uh, either it's project tin pan or seasonal panning challenge, please let me know. Leave a link down below. I would like to comment watch it. So thank you guys for watching. Bye!